Hi there. Uh, sorry it's been so long since I've made a video. I wanted to give it a few months to make sure that what I was doing was working, and it appears to be, so it seemed like now was a good time to let you know what's going on and what the resolution has been to my problems, and hopefully it will be helpful and beneficial to somebody else. I don't recall how much I've told you. Um, I mean, I know that I've made it very clear that I've been sick for six years and that these cycles have been happening on a very regular basis uh, every two weeks for every 14 days for four days now for it feels like forever but um, I'm not sure that uh, I've given you a, a good idea of what exactly is going on with me uh, about a year ago well almost exactly a year ago um, sold my house quit my job of almost 20 years, and um, my partner Billy and I purchased an RV, and we've been traveling for the last year. He's got a job where he can work remotely, so we're able to, to do that for a while, and I, I just wanted to take some time off, and we, we live in the Pacific Northwest. We traveled to Florida for the winter, and part of our intention was for me to go to the Mayo Clinic while I was here. Well, it doesn't seem like it's necessary. In our, in our journey um, westward, eastward, east, I'm not very good with direction, sorry. In our journey to, the, to Florida, we stopped in Texas, and I visited with an uncle that I knew existed, but uh, he's almost, my mom is one of six kids, and she's the youngest, and her brother's almost 25 years older than she is, and so he was never really a part of our lives because he lived several states away, and he's so much older. Well, it turns out that he has a granddaughter that he just found out about. His daughter put her up for adoption and had never shared it with the family. And this, so she's my age, but she's my second cousin. Um, she has had some health issues and her health issues led her to research and find her birth family. So, um, because it's genetic, what she's got going on. After we left visiting him and we came to Florida, she reached out to me and uh, we had a couple of wonderful phone conversations. And in our conversation, I asked her, you know, what caused her to, to find her family. And uh, she explained to me about this genetic condition that she had. It's called MTHFR. Now, I've got another name for it, and you can put that together and see what I'm calling it, but uh, it stands for methylene tetrahydrate folate reductase, and it's a problem with the way that your body metabolizes vitamin B9 folate. Now, she had um, hormonal issues, and she also had a series of miscarriages, that caused her to start looking for a physician. She lives in New York and she found somebody there that was able to help her and diagnose her with this. And the solution for her is that she has to take four milligrams of folate a day. So she explained to me what, what kind of transpired in this and especially since it was genetic and she sent me a picture of herself and she, she really resembled our family. And I, I, I thought, well, I, I researched it. It sounded very interesting. Um, it causes high homocysteine levels, which can cause blockage of the arteries. And I feel and have felt all of this time that it, it, my symptoms are almost stroke-like what happens to me. I mean, you've seen the hemispherical stuff. And so I never have had that tested. <laughs> who, would, who would think to do that? And anyways, bottom line, the, the easy solution for her taking the folate, I could think of no reason not to give that a shot. Uh, so I just ordered some online. I started taking folic acid, which uh, folate is an isomer of folic acid. And the folic acid caused me to have some indigestion and some heartburn. But once I switched over to the folate, no problems. But it has now been three months. I'm up to five milligrams of folate a day. And I've had no problems. I mean, it all just like magically went away. I can think. I have not had a single problem with not being able to think words, uh, dizzy spells. I'm able to go in stores now and not feel that uh, 
nauseating feeling that I would get from the fluorescent lights. Sometimes I get a little still of that, but nothing to the extent that it was. I, I mean, literally, I have not had a single problem since I started taking the high levels of folate. So just based on the premise that genetically I probably have a MTH, MTHF, MTHFR problem, I went ahead and those initials, it takes me a moment to think about what they all stand for. I um, went ahead and found a company called 23andMe that does genetic testing and uh, they do it with saliva. So I went ahead and sent off my saliva sample about a month ago, maybe six weeks ago. It takes six to eight weeks to get the results. So I'm expecting that soon and then I should have some empirical results that show that genetic anomaly. So, you know, the funny thing is, I mean, and I know I've explained to you, I have researched the hell out of anything and everything that could possibly have been causing my issues. And I never had even heard of this before I talked to Trisha, my cousin. So I'm guessing that most people out there have never heard of this and would never attribute the problems that they're having to a vitamin deficiency. It It's mind boggling to me. I've I probably saw 50 physicians in the course of my illness, and I intend to write a letter and send it to all of them, because if nothing else, even if they just read the letter and it plants a seed in their mind, I just don't want anybody else to have to suffer. Um, MTHFR problems can cause seizures and catamenial stuff, and it happens in men too. It isn't just something specific to women. So I, I just, I think there should be an awareness and I wanted to tell you what the resolution has been for me. I just, I feel such a renewed sense of purpose that I'm going to be able to, you know, seek out whatever kind of employment that I want now at this point. I'm not sure what I want to do, but I mean, the world is my oyster right now because it just, it's so exciting to me that after six years of suffering, <laughs> an over-the-counter vitamin is what has been the resolution of my issue. So... Um, this could possibly be my last video. I may make another one if I find out any more information. Uh, actually, I imagine when I get the 23andMe results, I'll probably post something just to let you know. Um, but thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. My email information is a uh, link to this YouTube channel. So if you have any questions for me, you're welcome to get in touch with me. Thanks so much. Bye.